couch Dogs need the lessons Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lick and Riff in which we're going to learn how to hybrid pick. I am holding a pick because I'm going to teach you hybrid picking. Hybrid picking is using a pick and your free fingers simultaneously to create a fingerstyle sound but with stronger bass notes because you're holding a pick. So um, I'm going to give you several exercises. I'm going to throw exercises and ideas your way. You just take whatever fits your own musical vision, your own style and practice hybrid picking so you can play finger style while playing with a pick. But before we start, I want to mention that this lesson is sponsored yet again by Skillshare because Skillshare love lick and riffers. They know that you guys and girls are a quality audience and that's why they want to give 500 more of you free premium access to their platform um, for two full months. Skillshare, in case you don't know, is an app and a website for video course learning. You watch video courses and you learn by video. It's just insane. They have anything from graphic design to typesetting to logo design to music um, uh, production to video editing to uh, creative stuff like painting, drawing. So click the link below in the description. 500 people, the first 500 people to click the link below in the description will get two full months of free premium access to Skillshare. Believe me, it's an amazing platform. It's an incredible platform, an addictive platform. Anything you wanna learn, they have it, including finances, Facebook advertising, what, what not, just anything from creative to pragmatic things and anything in between. Skillshare. So thank you very much for sponsoring this lesson. Now let's get hybrid picking. Okay, so I'm holding a pick and um, I'm gonna walk you through different ways to play it. We're gonna touch Travis picking ideas a little bit. We're gonna arpeggiate chords. We're gonna uh, even improvise a little bit. So whatever, uh, whatever skill uh, level you're in, just uh, take it and practice it in your own style. And if you need uh, additional info, I'm gonna direct you to video lessons I've made in the past regarding those exercises. So um, let's take A minor, G and F, okay? And let's uh, arpeggiate the bass notes. So on A minor, I'm using the pick to play strings five, four, three, four, okay? And I'm doing the same thing on G and F, but I'm playing the sixth string instead of the fifth. So we get this. Okay, now I want us to add notes with the fingers. So we're gonna play something like this. this just playing the notes together now uh, it's difficult for me to follow a fixed pattern so I'm gonna try my best um, I'm I, I always advocate uh, improvising but the basic idea is to play a high note with each bass note so um, I'm playing the third string with the bass okay playing the third string and then with the fourth I'm playing the second okay with my finger and then I'm playing the first string along with the third so okay and creating sort of sixth harmonies here okay so that's the very 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 basic exercise and you do it with all the chords okay and with these chords it doesn't sound so good I know it doesn't we're gonna enhance this exercise. This is just the very, very basic exercise, okay? Because okay, we have we have several octaves here, so it doesn't doesn't work musically quite well. What I want you to play eventually is something like this. Something like this, okay, that you can solo with. 
Okay, and again, I'm, I'm being very, very delicate here because I don't want to go too far. Sometimes my examples go into complicated zones. Uh, so, okay, I want to keep it simple just at the beginning of the lesson. Okay, we're going to complicate it later. So this is the first exercise. Okay, with each, uh, with each bass note, just duplicate it with two strings above it. Okay, so... If you want, if you want to make it a little bit more musical, play A minor over G instead of a G chord. So you still have, you still have those different notes instead of having an octave, okay? Okay, having that octave there, okay, which is less musical. So A minor, okay, A minor over G is A minor with the little finger on three on the sixth string. So this okay. and then you can play a minor over F with one on the sixth string with your thumb or you can play an F chord so up to you okay so you have this okay. you have this when you play the bass okay two distinct notes okay. okay so it's a minor on the high on the high strings with bass notes uh, with A minor, A minor over G, and A minor over F, which is also F major 7. So... Okay, that's the second exercise. You can also open the second string whenever you like to get an extra harmony. And then you can also start uh, getting uh, random with your fingers, okay? You can play random strings, okay? One, three, two, three, okay? You can play, okay? You can play this. So you can have, okay? Okay, which is a little bit more demanding, okay? But uh, if this is too difficult for you, just keep playing the same pattern. Okay, so. Okay, I want you to get to the point where you can um, where you can improvise. So the next step would be to play the same string. So you can play strings two and three all the way while arpeggiating. And of course, when you're playing the third string with the pick, because it's in the, in the arpeggio, you don't play it with the finger, because you can play it with the finger and with the pick, but you still get strings two and three together. Okay, so I want you to notice that. Okay, you just exchange a finger for the pick. Okay, you have, you have this. You just keep playing the second and third strings with each bass note. Okay, now I want you to play the first and second strings when you play the third string. Okay, so it's second and third twice and then the first and second and you play the third string with the pick okay so you have this okay you have okay because you go back so now you play a bunch of notes okay so you have okay and then you have strings one two and three and then two three and four because four is the bass note so You can open the second string. Okay. After you've done that, you can 
you can refrain from playing the high strings sometimes, okay? Give it space. So play the high strings, keep playing the bass notes, and just play the high strings randomly. even muting yet. Yeah, you can mute, you can palm mute, you can use your palm to mute the bass strings and then you get two, two different sorts of sound. You can play the bass note twice, okay, and then play the chord with the fourth or the third strings with your pick. So, okay. And you can mix sounds with the bass notes as well. You can, you can uh, palm mute while playing random high strings. You can palm mute. And then you can open a bass note. So you can do this. Okay, something like this. Okay, you can, okay, you can play two, pull off to zero, hammer on back to two on the D string. Okay, while playing high notes with your fingers. Okay, so, okay, so, okay, you can do, you can do them simultaneously. Okay, now this is a little bit more advanced, but you should know this from the start. This is where you want to go. Now, um, if you don't know how to Travis pick, if you don't know Travis picking, Travis picking is, okay, using your thumb in an alternating pattern. Okay, then I have a masterclass for that called 20 Beginner Travis Picking Exercises. Okay, 20 Beginner Travis Picking Exercises. It takes you from the very, very basic um, exercise to actually playing Travis Picking. Okay, um, search for it. Lick and Riff 20 Beginner Travis Picking Exercises and uh, you'll find it and watch it. Now, Travis Picking with a pick works exactly the same. Okay, you alternate between bass notes, let's say A minor, so you alternate between the fifth and the fourth strings, and you just add notes to it. Okay, so the, the simple variation would be to just add one note. Okay, strings one and two, okay, together. Okay, or just the second string. Okay, you can uh, hammer on the one on the second string. course you want to practice this slowly okay but again I'm okay, and this is the beauty of hybrid picking because you can mute and then play a chord a double stop can get a different sound than finger stop and then you just keep building on that. You play the notes between bass notes. In between. Okay, it's between, between bass notes. Okay, bass chord bass. Bass note bass. Okay, and when you pick up speed. Okay, and then you start combining it. Okay, this is not a Travis picking lesson, okay? So I don't I don't want to give you Travis picking exercises, but this is the very basic. Okay? But if you don't know Travis picking and you want a pattern that you can practice with, um, you can play a bass note, a high note, the alternate bass note, and another high note. You can play, for example, strings five, three, four, two. Okay? 
and don't play it continuously, just play a chord and then play this. Okay, and you'll get better at it. But again, you can you can get the the pick sound. Because it's different than the thumb sound, which is a lot more subtle. Okay, so you get a stronger bass uh, sound while hybrid picking. So that's um, that's my hybrid, hybrid picking lesson. It covers everything you need to know, really. Um, short as it is, the lesson, um, if you actually do the exercises, you see that it kind of encapsulates a lot of music. Uh, so if you just watch the lesson, go and actually do the exercises. So again, don't forget, remember to click the link below in the description. The first 500 people to click the link below in the description get two months of free premium access, uh, access to exercise, free premium access to Skillshare, to all the courses on Skillshare. That's a lifetime of lessons, basically a lifetime of courses for anything you wanna learn. So go grab it, click the link below in the description. Thank you very much Skillshare and um, I'll see you in the next lesson. So thanks for watching, go have fun with this and go hybrid pick. Bye for now.